Welcome back to Sophisticated Motherhood where I'm sharing my motherhood journey with you. Today we're gonna to be doing some fun winter crafts and activities for babies, specifically for my baby who's just about a year old. And if you don't have a baby that's in that age range, my friend Alyssa is actually doing a collaboration with me today from Dreaming of the Farm. She has three daughters, so she's gonna be sharing some winter activities and crafts that she's gonna do with her kids. So make sure to head to her channel if you wanna see some other age ranges and some other crafts and activities as well but I'm really excited for these I haven't done anything like this with Owen before so I can't wait to see how he reacts and with that I think we should jump into the first craft The first project we're starting with are sensory water bottles, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do these. I grabbed some smaller size water bottles from the grocery store, and I'm starting by peeling off the labels here. These ones were a little bit more difficult because there was some sticky residue left behind, so keep that in mind. Depending on what type of water bottles you have, you might need to take a little bit of Goo Gone or essential oils to get the sticky residue off. Jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop. The first water bottle I wanted to do a candy cane theme so I wanted the red and white pom-poms from this multi-pack that I got off Amazon. I'm dropping those straight in the bottom and I also found at the Target dollar spot a few different fun glitters and this one red glitter has candy canes in it and I thought it'd be really cute in there to have some glitter and some pom-poms so I sprinkled those in and then all you're gonna do is fill your water bottle up three-fourths of the way full with water and then you are going to fill the remaining quarter with clear glue. That helps so there's a little bit more friction as opposed that helps so there's just a little bit more friction for the items that are in your water bottle to move through, makes it a little more interesting as you turn it upside down instead of just having those things float through water. I am then going to add a little bit of super glue. You could also use hot glue in the cap. Really good idea if you have a little baby who might stick something in their mouth or even an older toddler who could unscrew the top. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want that stuff going all over our house. We forgot what you came for. For water bottle number two, I am heating up my water because I want the glue to dissolve a little bit. I'm starting with the glue and making a glow in the dark sensory bottle. This blue sparkly glow in the dark glue was perfect. Any glow in the dark glue will work. I would suggest putting the entire bottle in there. It probably will end up being about a quarter or so of your water bottle anyway. And then once you get all of it in there, you can start adding whatever things you want in there that would be exciting for your baby or for your child. I added some blue and silver sparkles and glitter in here. And I also wanted to put the white pom-poms in there too. I probably would suggest putting the accessories in first, just learning from trial and error because the top did get some glue in there. So it was a little bit harder to stick things in there after I put the glue in, but it all fit in just fine. And then I poured my hot water on top, did the same thing with the top of the water bottle with some super glue, put it on and gave it a really good shake to mix it all up. Perfect winter themed sensory bottle with a little special twist because it's glow in the dark. Sensory bins are all the rage and I want to show you that you don't have to have one that's super messy for it to be fun for your child and also there are some options for younger babies that don't involve a bunch of small pieces that they can choke on. This 
very, very simple sensory bin. I found a bunch of things around the house that we already owned, some of his toys that are red and green, put those into a bin, as well as a couple of bells. All of the different shapes and textures are really exciting for him. The bell was something new. It allowed him to play and explore. So just rearranging your child's toys in a way that they're not used to seeing them can be something that's exciting for them, as well as introducing a few new things like those bells and pom-poms. We don't usually have those out for him to play with. If your child is older, you could also do activities with them to have them sort by color. You could mix them all up and have your child separate them into both red and green piles. Really whatever you want, but this did entertain Owen for quite a while. The second very simple sensory bin option is to fill your bin with just a couple of inches of water. I put it on the tile here and then add some ornaments in there and let your child go to town. Owen is a huge fan of water. You could also put some ladles or scoops in there and let them really explore and have fun. But we have done this one over and over again because of how much he loves it. Just make sure your ornaments don't have any sharp pieces or parts that could fall off or that they are too too small that your child could choke on them. For the last activity, we are doing two different types of sensory bags. So we've done two different types of sensory water bottles, two different types of sensory bins, and then two different types of sensory bags. This first one, I printed out a Christmas tree. I took off the part of the Ziploc bag that was white with a little bit of nail polish remover and then just started by tracing my Christmas tree on the Ziploc. Get creative with these. The formula is very simple. You can trace anything on there. You could use bright colorful markers and make it a little bit more bold or you could just leave it plain and not trace anything on the outside. But all you're gonna do is add in hair gel. Yes, hair gel. I bought this big tub off Amazon for a pretty reasonable price. You can do three, four, or even more scoops. Add in some water and then I'm using more of that glitter from the Target Dollar Spot, the Christmas tree ones, and then more of the pom-poms in the red and green colors. And that is it. Seal it up and that is the first one. It's so fun to move these things through the hair gel. I almost want to play with it. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. The second one feels like a little bit more of a craft for the adult to make, but I am going to make a snowman here. And there are different options depending on the age of your child. So if you have a really young baby, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so they can play with it. And you can stop this at any point in the process depending on how old your child is. So if you have an older child who can use glue, they can help make the snowman. You could cut out the shapes for them and then have them glue it using Elmer's glue but if you have a younger child that could choke on pieces or they're just not able to use glue and don't have that dexterity yet I cut out two felt shapes I wanted it to look like a melted snowman and you could use a large white pom-pom I didn't have one so I got kind of creative here with cotton balls if you're having your child put it together I would not recommend that you give them a bunch of cotton balls because it was a little bit tedious and difficult there and I also used a little bit of black felt to cut out a hat and put that on top of his head. And then use whatever craft supplies you have on hand to turn this guy into a snowman. I had googly eyes, so I put those on, put an orange one for his nose, and then a bunch of little ones for his smile. Talking on the phone, I make you feel at home. Oh. I found some cute heart-shaped beads, so I put those on as his buttons. And then for arms, I had brown pipe cleaners, cut just one in half and formed them into little arm shapes and glued them on. Jolly holiday. 
Same thing here, I use nail polish remover to take that white portion off so it's just really simple and your child can focus on what's in the bag. Added my snowman in there. You could also decide not to glue all the different pieces together and just let them be separate so things move around in there and it's more interesting for them. Even when it's glued together, I think Owen really enjoyed being able to feel all of the different textures. You'll see I did throw in some more of the white pom-poms to make it look like snow and I put them on the floor and decided to tape them down. I have done a few different sensory bags before, one with oil, water, and food coloring, and it made me so nervous that he was gonna put it in his mouth and bite it because he has teeth now and stuff was gonna go everywhere. I don't want him eating hair gel, so that one I definitely wanted to tape to the floor. But the snowman one, you could probably let your child hold onto, even if they are younger, because if they bite into it, it's not like they're gonna get a bunch of hair gel or food coloring in their mouth or anything like that. That's it for today's video. I'm gonna let Owen keep enjoying all of his new activities. Make sure to check out Alyssa's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. I'm so glad you're here with me as we navigate this motherhood journey and together we make it sophisticated. But until next time, I will see you guys later.